Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome to uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. Um, I have never actually um, I've never actually like played this. Um, oh, yeah, uh, and I'm emulating it because it's kind of hard not to uh, because. I don't have a way to record uh, PS2, and also my copy of this uh, decided to not work, so yeah, it's going to be great. Um, hopefully this is not going to get too confusing for me since I do have my B, X, and Y all shifted over, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, sure. And because I can't actually figure out a way to disable uh, that in the dolphin menus, there's going to be things popping up in the top of the screen. Because, yeah, not much I can do about that. Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible I wonder if I'm going to get in trouble for having, like, the, our story the, these, like, the movie clips in here, the town, even though they're compressed to hell and also As not actually video. The waves, I didn't get in trouble for, um, Val from Bikini Bottom. Hold your sea horses. Uh... I, this is one thing I really do like about this game. It's that they do actually include the uh, the opening. They include the opening dream sequence as an actual level in the game, which is absurdly cool. It started out as a simple a Krabby Patty with cheese. Oh, and they actually have Mr. Krabs in for this one. Customer took a bite. No cheese. Oh, this has never happened before! Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. Oh my god. It's so funny. Okay. Ooh, wow. This is a... Uh... It's a bit blurry. Maybe I should pause for a second to get, um... To adjust some settings in Dolphin. That might be a good idea. So yeah, let, let, let me pause for a second. Stuff? All right, I'm back from uh, fixing up the settings a little bit, and I've also updated it so that uh, my actual setup here is a bit better. Now, you might notice a couple issues off the bat. There is nothing I can do about this. This is actually happening no matter what settings I use. The lighting appears to be kind of broken a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> that is just an unfortunate quirk of Dolphin. There is also a box in the top left that sort of, um, has, like, some weird lines around it. I feel like that's supposed to be a border around the screen at the native res of the game. Uh, that is just, like, permanently baked to one size, so I kind of can't do anything about that. Oh. That's weird. I didn't know that we had... Okay, I guess that there's like some sort of like progression system in this. I've only ever played Battle for Bikini Bottom. I've never actually played this one since my copy of it is dead. And I lost the receipt for it, so I can't even take it back to the game store that I got it from, which sucks. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it, though, you know? I'm glad that they gave everyone the spin move in this game, though, since it, Patrick's belly bash in Bikini, Val for Bikini Bottom is not the best. Wow, this, these lighting effects are just, like, ridiculous. God, that... That track in the original Battle for Weekend Bottom is so good. Oh hey, there's stuff over here. Should grab these. That's like a treasure chest. What the hell is that? 
A new extra. Um. Extras. Oh, they're like trailers. There is no way I'll be able to get away with playing those. To see what extra you have just earned, go to the extra section on the options menu. Yeah, I, I just figured that out, Mindy. Thank you. Wow, the, the lighting effects are just like completely breaking. Let, let me see if I if there's anything I can do to fit, like try to remedy that a bit. Uh. Let's see. No, that does not appear to have fixed it. it. What the heck? Okay. Um. put the other, like, because I had some filters on top of it to, you know, different anti-aliasing things. There's, there's gotta be a way to, there is a setting called pixel perfect, like, per pixel lighting, which is not working. Uh, let me try this is the thing with emulation, it's just like constantly, it's just an always a, like, all of emulation is just tweaking things until it's right, and it will never be perfect. Thanks for the help, boy. Huge. Okay. A bit of a frame drop there, because I am running this at like, way higher than I probably should for my computer. Point. Okay. Oh, upgrades. So I can upgrade health where I can... I'm not gonna upgrade just yet. No need to upgrade. I'd rather upgrade whatever is coming later down the line. Whoa! What's going on there? So, one issue that I have with emulation a lot is, uh, I'm using a decommissioned server computer as my main computer. I've just upgraded it to be a gaming computer. But because of that, the CPU that's actually in it is, um... You may be able to break through some weak objects in the world. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez, yeah. My CPU is, uh... Manager coming not it, it has multiple cores but they're not like the fastest cores in the world so I might have to tweak this down a little bit because realistically in emulation it only really cares about the first two cores so the other four are being unutilized and it's not the highest like they're not the highest clock cores. They're not bad, but they're not great. Also, Mr. Krabs' legs were missing there. Who are you? I'm the manager of this establishment. Everything is gonna be just fine. I'm really s Uh, that's... Oh, shoot. I wanted to see if I could fix... Th okay, so something went wrong there. Do I have to... Do I actually have to be in, like, native res for those to work? <laughs> God dang it. I'm just gonna have, like... The, the settings off to the side always that way I can hey. like hey, buddy. see if I can Come on. wake up well I mean these Ooh. cutscenes are working Where am I? it's eight in the morning Close. looks like your friend is out of here hey buddy come on up here and join the party
Oh, I can't do an attack in the air as Patrick anymore, though. That's kind of lame. Unless... No, I, I can't do it. That's a bit lame. How much of a man do I have to be? The version of this game that I'd be interested in playing the most, honestly, is the PS3 version. Because apparently that one is like... It was so bad upon release that they took it off of the PlayStation Store, like, immediately. And it's never been released again. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, boxes. But I guess I'm succeeding in platforming, so I guess I won't right now. SpongeBob! What's up, Patrick? You have got Ultra Instinct. I like how they've, like, clearly reskinned a lot of stuff from Battle for Bikini Bottom, but in a way that makes it, like, still fit really well. I love how this wasn't just, like, a lazy port. Like, it, it wasn't, like, just a lazy reskin. There was a actual effort put into this. There's just things all glitching out, which is cool. I miss you guys. Oh, so that's like the equivalent of the robot maker. And when they blow up, they no longer spawn in. That's cool. The other chocolate creek challenge is now open. SpongeBob may play. Oh, well. Ouch. Oh, they gave Patrick, like, Sandy's ability, kind of. That's cool. Well, regardless, I want to get stuff down here, because. It looks like I can, like. It looks like the way I level up is literally just, like, collecting more of those. And I can just get upgrades from that, so that'd be cool. forget that like beyond a certain point there's always going to be emulation problems oh hi mindy if you bring me more goofy goober tokens i can grant you the cartwheel move oh boy i love whatever that move is you will just bring me more goofy goober tokens where do i get those i'm going to guess that i have to complete challenges for them Oh, are those like the golden spatulas of this one, actually? Never mind. They m I was thinking that they might be like the socks. They're probably more akin to the actual, like, uh, the golden spatulas as opposed to the socks. Let's go. Oh, wait. No way. Like, that. they're literally... They're literally spoiling, like, the plot of the game. Like, we are nowhere near a point where, like, these Bucketheads would be in the story. Those are way later. Why not just do the Peanut Guys? Wait, 
wave one. Oh, I, there's a, like a lot of waves, isn't there? Maybe I should have upgraded my my moves, my arsenal. It may have been good to upgrade my moves. Okay. Yeah, it's not showing me the thing. Oh, jeez, that's... Yeah, this seems like it's faster and got better range. say this does already seem like a bit of padding to the game, but it's not like it's not fun. It is still definitely fun. Boing. I might have to try like a different rendering mode in the next episode. Oh, wow. Oh. Maybe if I swept like direct X, it'll work better than open GL. Maybe Vulcan even. Oh shoot, I need to get over to one of these Krabby Patties. Oh shoot, I am nowhere near any of the Krabby Patties and I don't want to lose. I do not want to lose. This seems like a bit of, like, an overly, I, I don't want to say overly difficult start, but it kind of is. Because it's not like, we don't have, like, moves this early in the game. Like, we only have our one basic attack. We don't even have, like, the, like, we don't have, like, any of the stumps or anything from the previous game. We don't have, like... The, the move where you jump up and like use the biking helmet or like the the bubble shoes. Like you don't have a stomp move, you don't have much. It's kinda You're limited at the start, which makes it difficult. But that's okay. Yeah, it's all- it's like, not rendering properly. Wait, oh no, I- I should probably... How do I actually do the cartwheel? Press- just press X, and when you do, you'll dash forward quickly, smashing anything in your path. Oh. This is where I'm going to end it off for now. I'll see if I can make uh, the rendering a bit better for the next episode. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye!